Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I'm going to get a thermal imager and I'm going to show you that this tarpaulin that I painted white in a previous video is holding back at least 140 to 150 degree deck temperature. But that's, that's not what I want to talk about now. I want to show you this rough sawn lumber again. This is how it comes. And this is a chainsaw cut. Now, this is why it's cut like that. What they do is they take a piece of, they, they cut two by four and three quarters, or two by five. Then they chainsaw cut it, and they leave the end, and typically they'll leave a small piece in the middle, like this, uh, which just broke within the last day, a small, piece to hold it together like a like a staple and then they take this is this was a two by five yesterday and then they they cut it almost to the end they leave that little staple in the middle and then what I have to do is I finish this with my chainsaw but these ones split maybe at the lumber yard maybe somebody just needed one piece maybe the other piece was no good whatever so the rough sawn lumber comes like this and the only way to use this lumber for forms and whatnot is to take this power planer. Now, I go across the grain the first to get because the chips come out three times thicker and faster until I get down to a reasonable, a reasonable closeness to where I want it, which I don't care about this because this is rough sawn and this is for underground forms. But we're going to get it as close as possible because you can't put a form together on a corner with this there so here we go <laughs> This one we can just do from the end only, but not yet. Uh, we have the other side of this. So this, the, we have to balakad, reverse, yeah? Reverse it. Now, and we're going to take it from this way. Daisy's going to hold the cord behind me. Thank you, Daisy. Mm, you're welcome. Yeah? Yeah. Daisy told me, I said, wow, if we didn't have this tarpaulin up there, we would be, we would be baked. And she says, no, just you, because I would not be working. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, I'll be negra. Negra. Should be very, negra is a black, dark. Yeah? Yeah. Itom? Yeah, itom. 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 So, uh, she's, her mother is already upset about the, <laughs> the contrast from when I met her. So, to the new sun-baked Daisy May, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Look at the contrast with the hat, look. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Buong ka. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take this knot mess off. You're gonna keep your hands back. This is a big one. I like the big ones. I like to take it out here like that and go. No, not yet. And that's okay. Okay, well that's how you that's how you deal with rough sawn lumber in the philippines baby uh, and i paint all my tarps white now that's a brand new top to paint didn't stick so good but even that will keep the top from wearing out too fast and you can't paint those tops until you leave them in the sun for about a month it takes the uh the sheen the gloss off the tarpaulin but i did it anyway because it's going up on this side to block me 
the sun at sunset <laughs> you think the sun at noon is brutal where do you get underneath here it's like an oven like a like a like a rotisserie under here when the sun comes over here <laughs> Daisy will be gone and I will be here by myself with my finger in my ear. Oy vey and shalom from Rabbi Drew Bark and Daisy May in the Philippines. Baby. Baby.